running Rebel profile for this week is number 31, Justin Hawkins, 6'3", 190, a junior, and he is known as Jay Hawk. You say your favorite all-time player for UNLV is one of your coaches now. Yeah, uh, Stacey Augman is one of my favorite all-time players, definitely my favorite player at UNLV ever. Um, I just like everything, how you approach the game back in the day, still how you approach the game now, you know. Since I am a defensive player, I always, you know, like all defensive greats, and Stacey is definitely a defensive great. It's a good feeling you have the coaches out there actually participating, dribbling the basketball, talking to you. The team is communicating better now as well. Oh, definitely. You know, our coaches get, are very interactive with us, you know, on and off the court. They want to make sure we become better players on the court and then good people off the court. And I just think that this team, compared to last year's team or any other team I've been on, we're just, just so, so much closer. You know, we're always hanging out, always having fun. You can just tell by the way we've been playing so far this year. Key defensive plays last year, and uh, many of the fans remember the one against Wisconsin. And that right there was like, oh, Jayhawk with the D. But you had 25 this uh, year early on. That's your career high. Offensively, though, with this new philosophy of let's run, it's going to help you at the offensive end. Oh, yeah, I think so. I think I play my best on offense when we're in transition or just run up and down the court. You know, it's not much thinking on the offensive end. It's just more reaction to the defense, you know, just taking what the defense gives you. Then also, you know, this year we're just so much more willing passers. Like, I believe our assists on baskets are just tremendous this year. I think last game we had 29 on 35 or something ridiculous like that, and it's just wonderful. Will you guys pop a C note, 100 points on somebody this year? I believe so. You know, we're not going to force it any time, but I think there's going to be a game or two where everything's just clicking, you know, from outside shooting to inside, our free throws, everything. And, then, you know, maybe in game or two we might get past 100. The way it ended last year, it had to leave a bitter taste in everyone's mouths. Illinois, and they basically blew you guys out, and they had all the fun they wanted, but you get a, re a shot at them this year. Is that something when you get around that time you'll think and say, hey, uh, here's a little payback? Yeah, you know, definitely when we get to that point in time. Right now we're just concentrating on USC, you know. It's always the next game for us, and right now it's USC. Justin Hawkins, Jayhawk, here on ESPN Radio 1100, our UNLV Running Rebel play file. He's our player this week. Let's uh, talk a bit about superstitions, and you have one. And before every game, uh, it's a candy bar you like to throw down. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely it has to be some type of chocolate, but most more times than not, it's always a Snickers. It's, I think I've been like that since my younger days in AAU. You know, just playing two, three, four games a day, and you really don't have a chance to go get a, a real meal. So my mom just one time just got me a Snickers, and I played well. So from then on, I just always have a Snickers for every single game. If you weren't balling on the, a hardwood, you would be playing football. What position? Uh, either wide receiver or quarterback, you know. I think I have great hands to be a wide receiver, but also I think I could be able to read the defense as I was a quarterback. But someone also told me I could probably be free safety. Like to stick? Yeah. Uh, Music-wise, is Jay-Z on that playlist? Oh, yeah, definitely Jay-Z, Wale, Drake, a little bit Lil Wayne, Ace Hood, some Rick Ross. All right, you got a pair of concert tickets, you and your better half, you and the Squeeze. One performer. Who are you taking her to see? One performer. Ooh. Let's see. I'll probably take her to go see Chris Brown.